Hello, welcome to my channel. I am Strong Mom. Today I am going to do a tour of my completed Christmas island, winter island, whatever you want to call it. It's basically Christmas. I was hoping to get this done by Christmas and I didn't. I decided not to rush it and I decided to take my time. And today is the day that I finished getting it done future editing strong mom here i forgot to show you my villagers i have anacati i have stitches judy maple lionel tutu peggy ioni barrel and poppy i didn't do a whole lot of terraforming as you can see most of my island is on level two but i still think it turned out really good back to the video so when you wake up you will be right here I'm hoping that the Christmas garland, Christmas tree, and the rope and the lines on the plaza look like this in the video. I'm not sure if they will. So if they don't, I'm sorry, but do know I saved it on Christmas Day so that hopefully these things will be part of my decorations. We shall see. So when you wake up, you will come over here and grab your goodies and don't get your ladder. And then you are going to run over here. This is my plaza. I built this probably first with this being the idea as my entrance, since my entrance is very close to my actual resident services. Um, it turned out not to be the actual entrance, but it's part of it. So there's Tutu looking super cute come over here and this is where my entrance actually is from my airport um i didn't want to overdo it since it is so close to the resident service and i had the whole plaza right here going on i wanted to keep it simple and i think it turned out pretty good with just a few things here because as you walk on further you will see i have a big bridge here which we'll go over soon but my idea for this bridge Originally, it was going to be my entrance. I wanted it right here. I wanted you to come off at the airport and get straight up. But the game won't let you do that. So I moved it over a couple of extra spaces and it became a long bridge right here. Let's start right here. This is my little canal area and my little waterfall. I wasn't sure what to do with this little area next to my big long bridge. Originally, I was just gonna have it be like a long river, but I decided to put in some seating, um, use some of the new 2.0 stuff like the stroller and the camera, things like that to kind of just make it look a little cozy. So when you're done looking in the canal, we're gonna come up here and this is my big long land bridge. So this was the second thing I built after I built my little plaza. I built this bridge in hopes of it being a glorious entrance. But at nighttime, it really looks cool. Um, the reindeer's noses light up and the lamps. It's really pretty. So then if you go on up here, you will see a cutoff here. And honestly, this is for absolutely nothing except for the waterfall effect below. So it is what it is. <laughs> it's just there. It just looks pretty from below. Right here, you're going to be coming into like the little shopping district area. So there's a little seating area here. And then if you go down behind my plaza is my little train station. Peggy is my newest villager hopefully she's not trying to leave on that train because i love her so much but the new little train that came with 2.0 really helped make this much more fun than just making it out of random items i think it looks really cute so if you go over here you're right back at the plaza but we're not going to stop there we're going to go ahead go up over here this is my santa's workshop area i wanted it to be kind of like when you go get your picture taken with santa 
You can make your Christmas letter to Santa. You can mail it. Um, arts and crafts, books, cookies, the whole works. I wanted it to be really fun. And of course, Santa is going to be sitting here and you can take your picture with him. Just wanted it to feel really fun and mall-like. Next, I have my post office area. I had seen something on Pinterest that was kind of similar to this, and I decided that I wanted to give it a go. I loved putting in this post office truck. It goes down the road. We'll go down there in a second. But I wanted to make it like something in the center right off the back of the train station and the plaza. So if you want to mail something, you can go right here. There's packages. There's writing letter station. There's a little bit of everything here. I really enjoyed making this, honestly. I, th I think it was a pretty fun, unique build. Off we go into the shopping district. This is my Nook's Cranny area. I just have a little courtyard here in the center. Nothing too crazy. I didn't do anything really too much for either of the shops. I just wanted to put up decorations like you would see if you were shopping somewhere for Christmas. And then I utilized the road. I originally started out wanting to do all roads, but eventually I kind of leaned into more of the town effect. I used the road a little bit, but I definitely cut down on the amount of road I used. I ended up using my brick a lot more. Um, but here is the road. This is the parking lot for the shop. And then we're going to go out here. And then we have Abel's. My favorite Christmas dresses here are showing both my favorite and then shoes at the whole works so if you go around and come into here this is my first little neighborhood it is matchy matchy I wanted to do houses that all look the same I wanted to be that kind of neighborhood um and I found this brick pattern and I figured out that I could do cul-de-sac type shapes, I guess you would call it. And so if you saw any of my lives on trying to figure this out, it was a nightmare, but I eventually figured it out and I think it turned out really good. I love the look of having the houses all be the same. Um, I went with a green and red, which is just basically the colors I used, red, green, and gold, for all of the houses. So I swapped out the roofs. If you look at these two houses, you can be able to tell. So one was red, one was green, and they have opposite doors and uh, opposite wreaths as well which is basically what I do throughout all of my villagers' houses on this island. So that was the big fancy cul-de-sac. I didn't want to do anything with this. I wanted it to just be a really fancy looking area in the middle of the neighborhood. So I left that one pretty empty. But if you go back over here, you're going to find, you know, a few decorations, a little ice skating area. You're going to find some toys and whatnot because the next subdivision over is the same idea, but a little bit different. So these houses all have round doors and I didn't do it every other, I did each row. So this one started out green, the next row is red, the next row is green, so on and so forth. So, and then I just kind of decorated them all the same. I gave them all the same welcome mat them the same red flower and then I decorated a little bit around them with other stuff. In the middle of this neighborhood I decided that I wanted to have a little uh, children's area. I put out some toys, the winter train station, um, things that looked fun for little kids. And then you'll just notice I put a lot of random little things in their yards. I put over here like a little I imagine like a little YouTuber session going on. She has her camera, her mirror, her makeup, her books, all that sort of stuff. And then if you go back, 
I have another small cul-de-sac. And I love Anacati's house. She's the only one I did this for. Because if you've watched my other videos, she's my fave. But I gave her an add-on. And I think it turned out so cute the way it looked. So her house looks a little bit bigger than everybody else's, which she deserves because she is a famous pop star for sure. And we've got a dog back here and we've got the telescope, Christmas lights on the trees, trash, um, well, trash can, bikes, just random little things that made the houses seem a little bit more housey instead of just all looking the same and then the middle of course is the gold and the brown tones that I used I didn't use them really anywhere else but I wanted to give them their moment right here I think it looks really pretty so then when you come down and follow here where your truck would go you're gonna come down here and I have kind of just a little gas station area where you can fill up try and get your yacht filled up whatever you need to do just kind of a little work area um i didn't do the rest of the beaches over here at all i just decorated this one little spot and then beyond the beach you see i have all my flowers blowing in the wind over there <laughs> they're just all over so we're gonna go back up and we're gonna go to the other side of the island which is i don't know which side is my favorite I think it might be where we're heading. Oh, I forgot to show you this. So in this little area between the museum and the cul-de-sac, I wanted to do something kind of fun outdoorsy. So I thought I would put in an outdoor theater by the museum. And this is what I came up with basically. Lauren sent me these the day that I made this and they were perfect. I didn't even know they were part of the game until she sent them. I was so excited. Up here is the same thing that it always is, except I added the crops this time, but I still have all my flowers that I bred and then all the crops that we have in the game. Um, I don't ever really change that too much. It's always up there. Sometimes I change the path around it, but that's about it. Um, Here's my rock garden. <laughs> it's pretty plain, not much. I don't use it. Um, there it is. And kind of got a little peek, but over here. Is my lookout area, which I'm just obsessed with. So if you come over here, you can get a really good lookout. And this is my, oops, wrong way. Just the terraforming. I just wanted it to be kind of natural and have a river running back to the ocean back there and some waterfalls. There is a mountain right next to this build. So I wanted it to look really natural and just um, woodsy and Christmassy basically. So this is what I came up with. And before we go up there, I'm going to take you over here to give you a sneak peek of my mountain. So if you come up here, get your camera out, you will see my mountain. I have ski lifts and I have mountain tops and I have trees and lights and snow plow or not snow plow, snow pile and just a lot of fun things on this mountain. It was definitely one of the harder things that I've done in Animal Crossing, but it turned out really good. I have my sledding um, hill. I love it. I am so proud of it. This was probably the first major thing that I built. And I put it back in the back corner because I wasn't sure if I was going to like it, to be honest, or if I could even do it. And now I regret having it way back here, but it is what it is. So you come over here, you can just kind of look out the ocean, run back over here, and we'll go back and look at it a little bit closer. 
Like he's just following us around. So down here I have like the ski lodge type going on. You get game, pizza, hot chocolate, skis, snowmen, and you can come over here and get on these lifts. So fun fact, I was challenged by my chat one night to make the ski lifts on these brand new light poles that we had just gotten and I had no idea how to make a design so I tried it and the next day I kind of perfected it a little bit to what I thought looked good and it turned out and here they are I am so proud of them honestly it's gonna be hard to get rid of them I published it and the whole thing was just really fun and I am so proud <laughs> so those are for but those are by me so if you go up the mountain you can't get into anything really you can just go up the slope up and down the slope and at the top you've got the south pole you've got your mountaintops you got the ocean behind it and oh did i just see <laughs> look at that lily of the valley over there trickster didn't even know that was there I don't think I'm a five star right now. I think I saved it and I was a four star. The challenge with this was trying to find things that would give the mountain height. And I did a video or two on this, but I um, ended up using some random things to find to make the height. But that's my mountain. Very proud of it. And you can walk back there just a little bit, but it's no other view than what you can see up here. Ioni is fishing. So there's the parking lot. There's my museum. And the shopping area is over. We're going to come over here, follow the road down, and we can look here and see the bridge. Which I have not a very view of ever. I put a frozen river underneath it and some ducks and a few pieces of rock out there and our magic tunnel that comes from absolutely nowhere. Boom, blue car. <laughs> All right, next we are heading to my skating rink, which is probably one of my most favorite spots. I originally was going to use these colors on my whole island when I thought about what I wanted to make for my Christmas island. Obviously, I went a different way, but I was really excited when I came up with the idea to use it for my skating rink. I used the big pink Christmas tree, the blues. I think they turned out really nice. They're very pretty together. And get some coffee. And then you can go ice skating. Listen to some music with your friends. Get ice cream. And then you go down here. And come into our campsite. The campsite is basically an area that is pretty cozy feeling. We have a uh, dog, snow, and then I have a few fish things on the beach here nothing major just a little bit of camping stuff for the people that are camping the blankets make it feel really cozy and warm and then up here are some tents some more tents over here our very own peewee did this amazing rock pattern around the bonfire that just makes your bonfire seem so much better when you put it under it if you guys are ever interested in any of the design codes that I use, I put them all on my Pinterest. The information's in the description box below. This is on there as well. It's an amazing design. Then I have a little play area for the kids here at the uh, camp out. And then come down here and you're going to find the tree farm. We have some Baby trees, decorated trees, cut down trees, 
got all the different trees here the farm then I have another little sitting area for a little fancy area I don't know what you would call these things but this was my first castle-y type build I wanted to build a building and you probably saw my video on this the other day but this is how it turned out I think it turned out really good honestly it's different it looks um, it stands out on my island and then I put a little fancy dinner here just felt like this would be like the rich area fancy dinnerware fancy guards gold just all the fancy stuff right the castle <laughs> it's fancy and then I just did something I felt like I wanted to do a little bit of something different in this area and so I just threw out some I love the way that the glowing moss looks on the sand I think it looks really cool so I threw those on then if you follow the trail you're gonna go over here into the little bistro area you can sit and eat or you can go shopping this is my most cluttered area right here I did really good and no clutter on this whole island except right here and I've made a little Christmas toy shop place all the things that kids would want and follow the bridge over and I've got another road leading from the Christmas tree farm all the way down. This was my first time doing Christmas. And I really enjoyed it, honestly. I It turned out just the way I would like it. It's like I don't think I could change anything else about it. This is the inside of my house. Nothing too fancy, just Christmassy. I have a garage back here so this is my garage a packed garage I have more Christmas stuff back here that I couldn't even fit on my island random toys groceries this is my room just a plain old kitchen nothing major coffee food and then upstairs I don't really have anything and downstairs just my gyroids and that is my complete winter Christmas island hope you guys liked it hope that I can give you some inspiration for next year's island. I really enjoyed making this one Christmas is one of my favorite times I love snow but I'm excited to go transition into some spring and flowers and grass again Thank you so much to everybody who watched me do this island on stream. I did majority of this island on stream this time around, honestly. I appreciate each and every one of you, and I hope you guys enjoyed this. As always, thank you for watching. I will see you in the next video. Bye.